Hello and good morning, Alan. How are you doing today, sir? Errol, I'm great. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. Man, you could not ask for a better time to bring jury duty forward because people are into court scenes right now. <laughs> I think you're right. It's the drama. It's 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 we're, it, it's it, what always makes me laugh about shows like this is the fact that we we won't go to jury duty, but yet we'll watch a show about jury duty. And it's like, come on, man, we need we need some real participation here. I, I agree with you a hundred percent, and hopefully, uh, watching this show will get people to uh, not to try to get out of jury duty. It's, it's a <laughs> It's a great experience, and the TV show is, is a phenomenal experience. Where did the idea come from to create this, and why did it take so long? Because this is very unique. Well, my understanding is the, the producers, you, you had uh, some guys who uh, were involved with The Office. You had some guys who were involved uh, with some uh, Sasha Baron Cohen uh, projects. Um, and what these what these producers did, what these creators did, was I guess a couple of years ago they they put out some type of blast that might have been on Craigslist or something like that. That basically said if you've never been on a jury before and you'd like to serve on one, we are shooting a documentary with the court's permission, and you don't have to be a California resident. You can be from New York. You can be from Vermont. Uh, if you qualify. Uh, and you're a juror, you're selected as a juror, we'll fly you to Los Angeles, we'll put you up, we'll pay you a stipend, and uh, 2,500 people wow. fly, uh, which is huge. And they winnowed it down, and the fellow who is on the show as an unsuspecting juror is, is a gem. Uh, and the, the, Ronald, our unsuspecting juror, um, if he was unbelievable uh, and he was chosen and, and the, the deal was of everybody, he, he was under the belief that this was a documentary. Every person except for Ronald was either an actor or a technician. <laughs> and the only actor, the only actor who was his own persona was the well-known actor, James Marsden. And James comes on and the, the, the thing with James is he's trying to get out of jury duty because he's this busy, well-known actor and that's one of the running bits and, and he and Ronald become good friends during the course of this. It's a tremendous idea and it's hilarious. It is. It's And, and I'll tell you, it's almost going to be like we're, we're living vicariously through Ronald because we would be that one person on that jury and, then, and, and to take it as seriously as he does. Oh yeah. Yeah, he... Uh, he is every man, as they say. He's our hero. And uh, I, I think the audience will really get a kick out of his reaction and how he <laughs> steps up to the plate. It's, it's, it's a gem. But can you imagine if, if the laws in this nation changed and we could build up a jury from other parts of the nation that you don't have to be, for, for instance, like you don't have to be from Mecklenburg County here to, to be up there. They, they can go out and get people to be on that jury from other parts of the nation. You know what? That's a heck of an idea because, uh, it, like you said, Mecklenburg County. For I, I'm from Chicago, but before I moved out to L.A., I lived on a farm in rural Ohio for about five years. And having somebody from a rural uh, community sit in an urban environment serving on a jury, having somebody from Chicago or, or New York or Los Angeles sit uh, in, in Greene County, Ohio, on a jury it's a heck of an experience well it would be very eye-opening i have been kicked off two juries and i mean I, i've shown up but the reason why is because of my media background and and what, what they would ask me questions am i familiar with stories like this yes because i, I i'm in the media or they would say yeah. uh you know um yeah. d this, there's going to be a car accident yeah i know i i've worked with different car dealerships with and, and, and they go yeah you got to go yeah, and, and it's like oh my god all i want to do is yeah. just serve yeah. one time yeah and I've been I've been called, and obviously I get dismissed because I either know the players or just because I'm a lawyer. But my wife has served on two juries in Chicago. She served on a civil jury and a criminal jury, and uh, she said it was an incredible experience. Wow, wow! How does everybody 
keep a straight face when something like this is happening to Ronald. And I, I realize, you know, actors are actors, but, but the thing is, is that doesn't it also sharpen their skills to be in that moment as, as that actor to stay true to the character? Well, I, I'm laughing as, as you're saying that because there were so many, so many crazy moments during the course of this trial where silly stuff happened yeah. that if you break, you break because of the silly stuff. I mean, 95% of this was unscripted. <laughs> so there were boring parts during the trial, which, as far as I'm concerned, kept it real, where this unsuspecting gentleman said, oh, boy, this is boring, or, or this, you know, let's move on with this. Yet there were other moments where uh, certain things happened that caused you to say, what the heck just happened here? <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I smirked a couple of times. There's no question about that. But you try your best to, to, to not break uh, or only do so where it's appropriate. What did you learn from this experience? Because you can't go into something like this and not take something from it. What I learned from it, and I kind of knew that as a trial attorney, but what I think people will learn from it, and it was reinforced uh, to me, the jury system actually works. Mm -hmm. And when you entrust your fate to 12 men and women, it shows that it's a great system. Wow. All right. Now, where can people find? I, I'm, I'm very familiar with Freebies. I, 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 we use that app. I mean, it, it's amazing that they're putting shows, original programming like this on there. So for, for average people, where can they go to find out more information about jury duty? Okay, so Amazon Freebie, yep. uh, it's a streaming video service. You don't need a subscription. You, anybody can watch Freebie programming for free through Prime Video, even if they're not a Prime member. Um, so it's available as a standalone app on, on uh, many t connected TVs and devices, uh, uh, Fire TV, Roku, Samsung, mobile, that kind of stuff. So. And it's free. It is. It so is. So hopefully people won't have a difficult time finding it. Oh, no. The, I love it. I really do. When, when I first heard about it, I, I, I had to get a, to be a part of it. And now that you're adding jury duty to it, oh, the, this is going to create water cooler conversation at work and on the social media. You, by saying that, you made my day, Errol. <laughs> I love that. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you, Alan. You're your most kind, Arrow, and I, I've enjoyed it. And uh, tomorrow, our first four episodes drop. Oh, my God. So stay tuned. I'm glad you said four because, you know, you know how we are with binge watching these days. We'll, we'll accept four, and then we'll get new ones uh, coming up down the road. But thank you for giving us that to, to where we can tap into it. Oh, yeah, the four tomorrow, two the following Friday, and the last two the following Friday. <laughs> I love it. You be brilliant today, okay, sir? Likewise, Errol. Take care.